I do not like these doodles. Now, I know you might be saying, whoa, John, I think you're jumping the gun just a little bit. You haven't even completed them yet. Well, don't worry. This commentary is in post, so I have. And you might also be wondering, doodles? Yeah, there's two in this video. Don't mean to brag. No, like, I really don't mean to brag. Maybe if I liked the doodles more, I'd brag a little bit, but I more so making this video just to shame them, you know? Like, look at these damn things. Who the hell do they think they are? They're products of my mind, of course. I made them. Every mark came from my hand. Maybe not completely intentionally how I was going to put it down or maybe how I was expecting it to look after I put it down and it dried a bit, but every mark came from me. Every mark was intentionally put there by me. There was a couple times I stuck my finger in like some wet area and it maybe smudged it a bit, but for most, like 98%. But I think the real reason I've decided or have come to conclusion to, uh, these are just like made completely out of avoidance, procrastination, avoiding doing more important things. And I feel like, you know, screw procrastination. And I guess what is more important things, you know, well, taxes. But it's like doing something where I'm throwing something at a wall. I'm hoping it sticks long enough for if it even does stick to entertain me for X amount of time instead of doing this thing that I sort of get, but it's incredibly mundane. It's sort of boring. It You know, it doesn't have much fun. There's no a uh, great outcome to it, but it's just there. It's tedious. It's not fun to do, blah, blah, blah. It's like taking a test or it's like studying for a test. It's like doing homework. You procrastinate it because you just don't feel like doing it. There's more other fun things to do, even though those other fun things sometimes is being bored. But I guess this drawing doodle, whatever it is to me, almost, it just feels like it's procrastination. I feel like I look at it and I'm getting nothing done by looking at it. It's like when I look at it, I feel like I could be looking at something else, but I could also stare at this more and just see it more. I don't know. I don't think I'm wording this in the best way. I did this drawing. I'm just going to call it a drawing from here on out for the sake of like not doing something else instead of doing this drawing for the sake of wanting to do it. And I guess with some of the other things that I sometimes avoid is like there's more quote unquote risk involved. There's not like actual risk. Like I'm not putting my life on the line. I'm not going into war. I think most of the time, at least for me personally, there are usually things that aren't completely in my control. There are things that I have to like do then send off to someone else for them to handle it in a more um, completionatory manner. Hopefully those are real words. I know manner is completionatory. It's in the gray zone. But with all those points connected, combined, squeezed together, and pulped out, I think that's why this one specifically, the next one I think has more redeeming qualities to it, but this one specifically, it just annoys me almost to look at it because I just look at it and I just... I remember procrastination. That's all. I just remember putting stuff off, not doing uh, what I felt like I should be doing. I remember like before this, I was like, oh, I'll do a drawing first or something. Or I just wanted to do anything else besides the thing that I eventually really did. It took me like 40 minutes. I also might hate this one more because I wasn't wearing rings. Uh, I think I just got out of the shower and I don't wear my rings in the shower because they get loose on my hands and some of them fall off and it's just annoying. Who the hell asked? Is procrastination art a genre of art, a subcategory? in some way I don't know because I feel like this is procrastination art and I'm not trying to sit here and say I invented a new art category hell no I definitely don't want it to be procrastination art of all things granted I almost do sort of feel like doodling is procrastination art but I have other doodles that I've done and I like them and it's just this this one makes me want to punch it Urgh. it could also have been just as simple as I didn't like how I started it very much because same with this one, I sort of started them by just scribbling all over. This one, I do like more of. I also got a little bit more loose with color, a little bit more wild and crazy. But I also used a lot more contrast in this one too. So uh, there's a lot of things that after the doing the last one, which is actually that piece of paper under it. Granted, these are two separate days. Um, but after doing that last one, I noticed the things that I didn't like. I was like, okay, there's not a lot of contrast. It feels very washed out in many a ways. Um, it didn't feel like many things were like punching through, which I guess sort of goes into the washed out. And I also wanted to try not to use blue and orange, which I use so frequently, uh, which just sort of happened. I just feel like almost all colors, even though I know they're not, I just, whenever I'm like trying to think of colors to use, I just only think of things to the side of blue and orange. I guess that's why they're my channel colors or roughly close enough to that.
the same style. Who are you to bring up my channel colors at a time like this? Now, as you can see, I think this one already came off to a stronger start. I think the other one where I like completely covered the canvas in like a pastel sort of stunted any sort of things I wanted to do because I mostly use watercolor in these papers and then like watercolor and clay. Okay, cool. Guess we're doing pottery now type of shit. You know what I mean? So it did feel a bit harder to get my feet going on the ground. It's sort of like it was an icy ground. I don't need metaphors at a time like this. I think you guys understand. Plus you just saw it. Plus it's time to focus on the one we're doing now. This one, like I said, I was really just trying to have some more colors bring it in and also more contrast. This one was another doodle and there's parts of it that I really don't like. And I think a lot of it is a little bit too much random nonsensical lines going around in like such a dark color too. And there's areas later on where I have the thicker black lines where I sort of break them up and I really like how it looks actually. There's like multiple pieces in here, small like square areas. If I were to look just through like a little tiny window, you know, pieces of it, I'll be like, oh, I really like that. But then I feel like I would zoom out and I would see the whole thing thing and i it's not that i don't i don't hate this one but there i there's so many small things i won't say so many small things there's a lot of small things that i like in it but then like those small things are almost like surrounded by other things that i'm not a huge fan of and this one definitely has more redeeming qualities and i do almost in a weird way want to say it's because i did more of the thing i was putting off there's still like more i have to do honestly even now i was recording this video so maybe i also hate this video <laughs> not but for real i feel like sometimes i do just need someone to like pretty much tell me and drag me to everything i need to do and just make me do everything i need to do because like it's not like I could do this. I just, I'm a, I don't know. Am I a pussy? Am I a coward? What am I? I don't know. But because I like more parts of this, I was like, you know, now I'm thinking like maybe it's because I did some of it. So it's like some of the mind fog, the mind clutter was gone, cleared out a bit. And I could, you know, I could do some things a bit more easy minded without worrying so much about either it or whatever else I am like putting off or not doing or things I, I, other things I need to do after this, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. Because I, normally whenever I'm drawing or painting, the ideal thing to be going through my mind is like, I almost want to say nothing but it's not necessarily nothing. It's just that nothing like really sticks in there for too long. It's sort of just a flowing of like thoughts, you know, there might be some that like hang around a bit more and stick around a bit longer, but at least in my experience or like whenever I feel like I'm painting and enjoying it, that's sort of what's I guess going on slash not going on. It's really not the easiest to put into words, but that's why I, I paint, but that's also going to be the end of this video. Wrap it up soon. Don't go yet. All right. You got to see the end of this doodle slash drawing. But I did just want to start wrapping it up, I guess. couple yeah. notes, at least as far as possibly how these videos go. I do want to do more like doodle recordings with commentary over videos. This is actually kind of fun to do. I didn't hate this video. Turns out it was good. Because I, I don't really feel like I'm procrastinating right now because it's like 2 a.m. and I'm recording this, but ignore that. Please. Anyways, the note that I was going to talk about, I want to try to get a better microphone, like a shotgun mic or something, so I, you guys can get here, like hear the drawing and stuff, so uh, I can have like more sound-based things and not really have like just quiet video and actually have like sound so you guys can hear me drawing and then like there is sound don't me wrong but it's not really good enough to pick up at all so i would need i need a little bit better microphone so I might be getting that um and then if you guys want to see more of this be sure to let me know i'm down to do more doodles i've been trying to do more of them as sort of like warm-up practice and they're almost like smaller areas that i can like maybe try to take bigger but i'll see you guys later thank you very much for watching and uh, yeah, peace.